in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Dear audience, I am Dr. Kuram Shahzad from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad. I am going to make a video on data collection tools. Well, dear audience, in my previous class, I talked about questionnaires. Now I am going to talk about interviews. Remember, as I have already said, that through questionnaires or interviews or observation sheets or different kinds of tests, we can collect the data. But it depends on to the researcher that how the researcher is going to collect the data, how the researcher is going to design the questionnaire, is going to design the interview guide so that he will be able to collect the data. Now it is up to the researcher if he falls in quantitative research, of course, his interview guide will be structured. And if he falls in qualitative research, his interview guide will be non-structured. And if he or she is making use of mixed method methodology, then of course, he or she is going to use semi-structured interview guide. Let's understand the definition of interview. Interview is the verbal conversation between two people with the objective of collecting relevant information for the purpose of research. Since we have got group interviews as well, so it can be between two people or more than two people. And some of the people said that we should not be taking more than six people at a time when we are going through the group interview because then it becomes difficult for the researcher to manage all the people. A verbal technique for obtaining data direct from the primary source. Interviews are particularly useful for getting the story behind a participant's experiences. Types of interviews. There are three types of interviews. From the strict structural point of view, we can identify three types of interviews. A structured interview, unstructured interview or non-structured interview and a semi-structured interview. And all these interviews, they have their own pros and cons. So well, dear audience, when you are making use of any type of interview, you should remember that these interviews, they have their own pros and cons. So each and every step that you are going to take, you should keep in mind all these things. A structured interview uses a set of predetermined questions. In the structured interview, you have already decided about the questions that you want to ask from the interviewee. So, of course, you have predetermined questions. It is highly standardized technique of recording. It makes use of fixed alternative questions. It makes use of close-ended questions. It is mostly used in quantitative research. So, of course, when your questions, they are highly structured, okay, you are going to make use of closed-ended questions. It means that you are going to give them options. So, there can be yes-no type questions, there can be multiple choice questions, or there can be Likert scales that you are going to use. So, in this way, you are making use of a structured interview. So then the data that you are going to collect in this way, it will be quantitative in nature, which can later on be, you know, converted into quantitative data. Unstructured interviews are also called intensive or in-depth interviews. So mostly in qualitative researches, we make use of unstructured interviews. In unstructured interviews, again, you have two options. You can make use of, you know, a list of questions and you can ask them one by one to the interviewee or you can have, you know, questions which are going to emerge from the discussion that you are having with the interviewee. Better is that you should have a list of questions with you. And of course, they will be open ended questions starting with WH words what or how or why type questions which need a detailed answer from the interviewee. So in this way, it is a non-structured interview. 
and it is used for collecting the verbal data. It is used for collecting the qualitative data, non-standardized interviewing. They do not follow a list of predetermined questions. It is up to you. You can have a predetermined questions or you can throw the topic, you can discuss the topic with the, you know, uh, interviewee and then different things may emerge during the interview and you can talk about different issues. But the problem with such type of interview is that, that how you are going to manage the data. You may have different kinds of patterns and in analysis, you will come across such type of problems. Therefore, it is better for, you know, linguistic students that I will say that they should have a predetermined list of questions, even if it is, you know, open ended interview. So through predetermined, you know, list of questions, you can ask them one by one, these questions to all the interviewees. And again, it will be an in-depth, you know, kind of interview that you are doing with them. So freedom to talk on whatever events, it provides their own definition of the social situation. It is very complex process. It opens, it is open ended questionnaire sort of interview. It is only used in qualitative research. As I have told you that closed ended interview guide is, is a structured interview guide. It is used for collecting the quantitative data. An open ended interview guide is used for collecting the qualitative or verbal data. Then there is third type of interview that is called semi structured interview. It contains the components of both structured and unstructured interviews. In semi structured interviews, interviewer prepares a set of same questions to be answered by all interviewees. At the same time, additional questions might be asked during the interview to clarify or further expand certain issues. Since interview is a data collection tool, which is, you know, developed before conducting the interview, as the questionnaire is developed before administering it to the people. So of course, these interview questions are coming from the literature review that you have already done or it is coming from the theoretical framework that you have taken, which is quite comprehensive, which has got, you know, uh, variables and constructs and how they are combined together to, to be put in the form of a theory. So, of course, your theoretical framework, you know, it is helping you to generate an interview guide and it has got all the variables and all the constructs which are under investigation. So your questions should come from the interview uh, theoretical framework. Your questions should come from the literature review that you have already done. So in this way, you have prepared a list of questions and you can collect the data. Other type of interviews are standardized interviews, closed interviews, informational conversational interviews. An interview guide is just a list of questions that you use to collect the data. Now we should talk about interviews and what are you know their advantages interviews provide opportunity for feedback interviewer can provide direct feedback to the respondent giving clarifications of course the data that you have collected through questionnaires okay maybe there is some missing data maybe some of the respondents they have not answered all the questions so of course through interview, you can have in-depth data and you can talk about those issues. You are unable to get their answers through the questionnaires. So in this way, when the second tool is used to collect the data, it is called triangulation. And in this way, you can validate the data that you have collected through the questionnaires or observation sheets. Probing complex answers. Interviewers can investigate if the respondents answers answer is too brief or unclear. This gives interviewers some flexibility in dealing with unstructured questions and is especially suited for handling complex questions. Length of interview. If the questionnaire is very lengthy, the personal interview is the best technique for getting respondents to cooperate without overtaxing their, their patients. Of course, you will have to decide beforehand 
that how long your interview is going to be and of course you will be you know contacting the interviewers interviewees you will be taking permission beforehand you will be taking into consideration the ethical issues okay you will be making eye contact you will be having good rapport you will be developing good rapport with the interviewees and interview should be conducted in a relaxed and you know good environment where there is no noise where you and the interviewee they are sitting comfortably and they are going to give you the data so you should be thankful to them okay and if you are getting the data which is unexpected for you or which you do not feel good about it you should not be giving any reaction because you should be thankful to the interviewee that he or she is spending time with you has given time to you so you should take the interview in a relaxed way and you should not be showing any kind of reaction to the interviewee respondents will answer all questions asked unlike in telephone interview where the respondent may hang up or in mail questionnaire where some questions may go unanswered props and visual aids of course during the interview the interviewer should also remain relaxed and you should be giving different kinds of props different kinds of you know words and uh, so that you should encourage the interviewee to give you the response and uh, you should bring that you know interviewee to the point to the point where you need to collect the data and you should try that you should be controlling and you should try that you should uh, you know avoiding you should be avoiding that the, there should not be any kind of distraction there should not be any kind of digression during the interview high indexing participation interviewing respondents personally can increase the likelihood of their participation many people participate directly in the questionnaire some of the people you know do not uh, respond they do not return the questionnaire but once the interviewee is sitting in front of you he or she has given you the consent to give the interview so you should take the interview it will be an in depth okay analysis uh, collection of the data related to a particular phenomena related to a particular issue which is under in investigation so this is how you should be collecting the data advantages are immediacy mutual exploration investigation of causation personal contact speed helpful for illiterate people those who cannot write those who cannot give the answer through the questionnaire of course you can have an interview with them disadvantages are that they are sometimes quite expensive you need to have a good camera for recording you need to take permission from the interviewee that he or she gives you the permission for recording purposes and uh, you will be taking care of confidentiality anonymity of the interviewee so these ethical issues you must consider so uh, you know interviews they are not cost effective they are expensive lack of anonymity respondents are not anonymous in a personal face to face interview and may be unwilling to disclose certain information to the interviewer so you will have to be very careful if he or she is not willing to give you the data so you should not force rather you should try to convince and if they are convinced and you make sure that you will keep their you know identity anonymous and you will take care of the you know uh, confidentiality so of course you can collect the data necessity for call backs when a person selected for interview cannot be reached the first time a call back has to be scheduled which result in extra cost and time spent so well dear audience you should take care of all these things now i should talk about telephone interview telephone interview provides information which can be collected from the respondent by asking him questions on the phone the combination of telephone and computer has made this method even more popular it has certain advantages and disadvantages of course as i have already told you any step that you are taking you should be providing the rationale and you should keep in your mind that it will have pros and cons so keeping in mind all these things you should develop an interview guide and you should try to collect the 
data. Well, dear students, in the end, I would like to summarize. I have talked about second tool of data collection, that is interview. Interview can be conducted having taken permission from the interviewee. Usually interviews are, you know, conducted with a limited number of people. Questionnaire can be, can, can be administered to plenty of people. But for, you know, interviews, our sample is usually small. So if it is 20 people or 30 people, you should keep in your mind that you will have to spend a lot of time. You will have to spend money. You should have a good camera. You should be telling them that you should be getting the permission of the interviewee that it will be, you know, recorded. And in this way, you should collect the data. It has its own pros and cons. Thank you very much.